Hello champ. So this is our day two of 10 in 10 uh, session. Okay. So today also you will solve uh, 10 question and that's very interesting and please do that. Okay. Now our question number one. In human, the testis temperature is maintained below the core body temperature with the help of proximal tubule, loop of Henle, scrotum, seminal vesicle. Right. Read the question carefully and think. Okay, in human, the testis temperature is maintained below the core body temperature with the help of what? So generally, body temperature is something different and the particular organ has generally 2 degree temperature lower than our body temperature. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The correct answer is scrotum. Question number 2. Protein that helps other protein to fold correctly is called chaperon, proteasome, ubiquitin, desmosome. Right. Few proteins are there that uh, this protein actually help other protein to fold in a particular direction so that they can function. Uh, now you have to guess it, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's chaperon. Question number 3. The common component in crustacean uh, exoskeleton and fungal cell wall is lignin, cellulose, chitin, peptidoglycan, right? There is something special in fungal cell wall, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. The option is chitin. The cellulose in plant cell wall, cellulose, lignin, and peptidoglycan generally in bacterial cell wall. Question number 4. Match the deficiency condition in group 1 and group 2 in the corresponding vitamin in group 2, okay? So first one is very very, very very, then scurvy, then birth defect, and then night blindness. Now try, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the night blindness we know it's vitamin A that is the retinol. So S two, birth defect, that's basically due to the folic acid. R four, scurvy, we all know that's one vitamin C and the very very that is equal to thiamine. So P3, Q1 and R4, S2. The correct option is C. Question number 5. The glycosidic linkage in cellulose and amylose are respectively. Okay. Think. The glycosidic linkage to the glycosidic bond that uh, actually help to monomeric uh, unit of carbohydrate to join and one molecule of uh, H2 were released, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the exact option here is beta 1, 4 and alpha 1, 4. Beta 1, 4 in case of cellulose and for amylose that is alpha 1, 4. Okay. Now question number 6. Match the entries in group 1 with entries in group 2. Bacteria. Uh, bacteria here, virus, protozoa and autoantibodies. You have to match with the malaria, tuberculosis, influenza and mycelia grains. Okay. Pause and try. One, two, three, four and five. Now, bacteria. The simple thing is mycobacterium, tuberculosis, virus, influenza, we all know. Protozoa, malaria and autoantibodies, mycelia gravis. That means S4, we find S4 and R1, Q3 and B2. The correct option is B. Now question 7. Which of the following cell type can develop from mild uh, lineage? So in between, uh, you know, in case of uh, cell development, there is one mild progenitor, one is lymphoid progenitor. During B cell T cell development, I hope you did that right. So from there, please recall, try to recall. So which of the following cell types develop from myeloid lineage? Macrophage, T cell, B cell, erythrocytes. One, two, three, four, and five. So the correct option is macrophage and uh, B lymphocyte. Sorry, not B lymphocyte, erythrocyte. So these are myeloid origin and B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte, they are lymphoid origin. 
Now question number 8. The pyramid of energy in a forest ecosystem is always inverted, spindle shape, dumb shape, dumbbell shape and always upright. Pyramid of energy. Think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's always inverted. So from direct sun you are getting here that is the producer, the plant. Then the plant here from the plant you are getting uh, few to the uh, those animal who is to feed the plant right some goat sheep from their lion tiger so all always there will be some 10 percent uh, law work right that's why the energy pyramid is always inverted question number nine which of the following like just match it proline oxytocin aspartame penicillin there are four different identity and then it is given artificial sweetener, cyclic amino acid, beta lactam and peptide hormone. Okay. If you just re remember two to three things, then you can solve the issue. Right. Proline. This is question number nine. The proline is a cyclic amino acid. So the first P2. Okay. Oxytocin. That is a peptide hormone. Right. Aspartame. Artificial sweetener and penicillin beta lactam so s that is s3 and r1 s s3 r1 p2 and q4 that is a okay now that's the final question antibody bind to antigen in solution through ionic interaction van der Waal interaction Hydrogen bond, hydrophobic interaction. When antigen antibody binding happens, which bond are responsible for the binding? Just imagine the antigen antibody binding. Try to recall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here every bond is responsible because the antigen antibody interaction is due to the non covalent interaction. So every bond here is non covalent. So every bond here mentioned is possible. That's also MSQ. So along with that, we're done with 10 questions.